missile tests earlier today, including an intercontinental ballistic missile that reportedly failed mid-flight, according to South Korean defense officials. Now, those tests triggered emergency alarms in parts of neighboring Japan, warning people to shelter in place. NBC News foreign correspondent Raf Sanchez joins us now from Seoul, South Korea with the latest. So Raf, first of all, what makes South Korean officials think that this intercontinental ballistic missile test failed? Joe, the initial trajectory of this missile showed it flying east from North Korea and then all the way over Japan onto the other side. That's what triggered these alarms in Japan. We had sirens going off. We had people getting alerts on their cell phones telling them to seek cover. Instead, what happened was the missile fell into the sea east of North Korea, west of Japan. It didn't fly over Japan in the end. And that suggests to North Korean intelligence officials, who you can imagine, this is their full-time job, that this missile launch did not go as well as the North Koreans wanted it to. We have, though, Joe, seen the North Koreans successfully test long-range ICBMs in the past. So the fact that this test failed does not mean that they do not have working long-range weapons.